Hey, what is going on guys? It is Lachlan here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby series back here at the Elite Four to take on the remaining two Elite Four members and the new champion in their second attempt of sort of second playthrough. Uh, they have a different team completely. We've already taken on the first two in the previous episode and this episode hopefully going to lay down a lot of rank. Now we've already healed our team up, most of it at least, most of what's needed. Groudon is our champion for this battle. He was the first time around. Can he do it the, the second time around is what we're all asking. So let's see if he can do it versus Glacier. I wonder. Okay. A bomber snow. I believe that's snow ground. If that is snow ground, that would be a hiccup. Um, okay, let's see. Um, if I go in for a snow warning, what does that do? Um, started to hail. Okay. I wonder, mine will overwrite his hail though. So, I'll probably just play it safe with a flamethrower at this point. Um, yeah. <laughs> Overwrites your hail, bruh. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, we're probably gonna go on for a flamethrower. I'd love to get a fire blast, but it's a bit of a gamble because it does have an accuracy issue. Uh, or was it snow grass? I don't know. He's dead. That's all that counts. Moving forward. Okay. Uh, does he learn Fire Blast at level 60? That'd be pretty swell. Oh, so close. Solar Beam. Actually, a very good shout to learn Solar Beam. Because he does actually get... What move to get rid of? We'll get rid of Thunder Wave for now and teach it on a new Pokemon. Because Solar Beam is such an essential move later on. Uh, because it doesn't need a charge with the Sunlight up. So, it's a, it's a really nice move to have. Uh, very powerful as well. So, Walrin. We'll stay up and we'll P-Blade him. He can't hit any surfs. 72. Jesus, he's a tank. I don't know if P-Blades will wreck him first time around. We'll have to see. Okay. I'm not having too much issues with the accuracy on P-Blades. Yep, didn't think so. Alright. <laughs> first time around, surf evaporated. And let's get some flames out. His team has not changed so much this time around. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Caught. No, it hit. No. No. Oh my god, you cannot be serious. Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO, but it has very bad accuracy. Oh my god, but the higher the level you are, the increased accuracy. You had like, I think the base accuracy is 40, and it's 10 levels higher, so it was like 50%. That's so cheeky, I can't even believe that. Alright, Ho-Oh, he's... He's going to use a full restore regardless. So, while he's doing that, let's go ahead and restore our... <laughs> um, does it, do I use revives here? Ah, uh, revive, yep. <laughs> Honestly, he's our only savior. So, getting him up to full HP is, uh, is, is worth it, seriously. Um, okay, yep. It'd be great to have a full revive on hand. I know I used it very dumb once. Uh, the way I used it was very, very dumb. I used it for no reason. When I could have just used anything else. Because you can't buy full revives. I wasn't aware at the time. Um... Okay. Four restores up. Surf. Yeah, that will probably kill him. If he, if he survives. Wow, I'm surprised. Um, let's try and get a Sacred Fire out before you leave. Come on, I thought we'd be faster. He's a big fat bloody walrus, for God's sakes. Nonetheless, don't think you're always ahead. I can't believe he landed a bloody sheer cold. I still can't bloody believe it. If he lands it again, I'm actually going to be done. Alright. Yeah, I was going to say, you have to re... Reprimal Evolve. Okay. These battles are a lot longer than they were the first time around. That's easy to say. Okay. Desolate Land is up. No more water attacks coming at us. That's for sure. Alright. Precipical Blades. The P-Bades. The, Precif the Precipic Blades. P-Blades. That's all they are. That's what they're called here. Okay. Attack Evaporated. And we'll finish it with an Earthquake. Give me four full restore. No. Not enough for that one, I guess. And Earthquake should finish it off. And it does. A little bit of an issue with the Warrens. He got lucky, though. He got lucky. Alright. Frost Lass. Yes. Send out the Lass. We'll go for a Flamethrower on her. Hopefully, the Flames with the Desolate Land combo should work well. Blizzard, and she landed it. Okay. Her RNG is good. Stop, please. Don't freeze us. Good. Awesome. I don't think you can freeze under the sunlight. But she's dead. She does have the speed, though, which is a little scary. I think we can die. Um, so, anyway. Van that is the ice cream Pokemon. Come at us, bruh. 
literally come at us. Okay, ice cream's engaged. Um, and we got the speed over the ice cream. Boys, let's go. The vanilla ice cream combo is out for the count. All right, that was an easy kill. Still yet to see the Mega Revolution. I'm going to call a Mega... Is Mega Glalie one? I think Mega Glalie's one. Beer Tick. Okay, this guy. He should be just as slow. Okay. I'm going to go for a Flamethrower. Hopefully one bang. He's going to have health, though, to tank it. Nope. Easy one bang. And he's out for the count. All right, the last Pokemon, which is going to Mega Evolve, is... Mega Glalie. Called it. Okay. I've never seen a Mega Glalie. It was really weird looking, but it probably will die unless he gets the first move. No? No, I think it, I think the Mega Evolution always takes priority, but holy crap, that looks scary. <laughs> All right, now let's see if he gets protect. What a little girl pants. All right, that's totally fine. <laughs> like it just delays the whole thing by just a move. Um, freeze dry. And little, does that put us frozen? No, it doesn't. All right. That was a little cheeky cheek. Ice typing. Mega Rayquaza. We're going to leave this one up to you. If he hits, it's de it's dependent on speed. Ice isn't that really good of a move to use on him. So we're going to use Dragon Pulse. Oh, sorry, Flying isn't really good on an Ice type. Uh, I think. Um, so I'm going to try and see that. And see how we go. He gets any type. Now, what does that do? Does that mean he won't hit me? Uh, mysterious air current weakened the attack. Oh, no. He has priority? That's, ri that's ridiculous. Okay. But it does weaken the attacks. Didn't actually kill him. But I know what has priority. And that... Oh, damn it. You little jag battle duty. Ah, that's the worst. Okay. Because that won't do nearly as much damage. Like, whoo. Actually, two extreme speeds could take him out here. And it will. See you later, mate. Catch you later. Yeah, that's right. You're out for the count. Okay. Too easy. That was a little cheeky there, that round. That really was. Okay. Moving forward now, we still have the next Elite Four member, the Dragon one. Okay, but we of course have to do through the go through the ritual of reviving our dead Pokemon. Now Swampert's gonna have to go have to go big here. Actually, I'm also considering yeah, I'm gonna teach Ice Beam to Rayquaza as well. Um I have a feeling it won't be as prevalent or needed in this fight though. I feel like he's gonna switch up a lot of the Pokemon to use um not just uh sort of ice type Pokemon. Um, no, sorry, dragon flying type Pokemon. So, we'll leave the rest for the next battle because we want a full battle for the next one. Um, and then as far as Pokemon go, we will start with Swampert. Uh, let's also go ahead and teach Ice Beam to Rayquaza Dog. I also got to remember that the Mega Stone should always go on Rayquaza. Um, I don't want that to go the other way. So, there we go. Boot up a TM. Teach Ice Beam. Yes. We'll get rid of... Um, Dragon Dance, although it is quite cool. Uh, Dragon Ascent, physical. Uh, after up soaring upwards, these attacks its target by dropping from the sky at high speeds. A lot lowers its own defense and special defense. Uh, just raises attack and speed. Um, a target is attacked with a shock wave generated by the user's gaping mouth. And extreme speed is actually quite... Food always goes first. Alright, uh, we'll get rid of Dragon Dance. And uh, let's see how much damage Dragon Claw does. It doesn't do much, it does like 60, eh? Let me check. Um, 80. Alright, then let me check what does more. Physical or... Uh, physical or special attack, attack types. I guess you should check when it's mega evolved as well. Um, how do you check? Oh, here we go. Uh, it is his attack, I believe. So does that mean he's an adamant one? It doesn't really say anywhere. Uh, he's a brave. So yeah, it looks like his... Yeah, attack has gone up for lower speed. I think. Or is it... No, it's high speed for lowered attack. Honestly, it's not too bad. But his attack is higher, so... Probably might even be worth switching Dragon Claw. For Dragon Pulse. Huh. 
Let's be, let me check when it's here when it's Mega Evolved. Is it is a substantial increase in attack. And also, that's not a really good um, nature <laughs> for what we have. Uh, but anyway, we're going to start and lead with... Let's lead with Rayquaza, actually. He might be able to go Kobe this and just win the whole thing. So let's see how he goes. You had better stop me. I really want to try and blitz through this one if I can. Um, so let's see. First, Drake. Because we do have the speed <coughs> advantage. Sorry for the cough there. All right. Altaria up. Easy bait for an Ice Beam. Going to Mega Evolve, get the Ice Beam going. And it protects all flying type Pokemon, doesn't it? So it's sort of not great on... Is it both or just ours? Let me check. Because that might be actually a bad idea. Delta Stream. A serious air is protecting flying type Pokemon. Okay, weakened the attack. Okay. Yep, that's true. But should still be enough? No, that was the difference between us getting the kill and not getting the kill. That's annoying. Cotton Guard. Uh... Defense rose drastically. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, we're going to put that up again. Okay. It's defense, not special defense, though. Okay. That is a little annoying. Okay. TLDR, not always good to uh, Mega Evolve. Uh, we will go in for another Ice Beam because I feel like I'll use another... Okay. Yep. I thought he was going to go in for another full restore. But he's dead anyway. Quite scary indeed. All right. Groot on level 61. All righty. Kingdra. Ah, this guy is a cheeky one. He's not a flying type, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a dragon ascent to him. Uh, that should do adequate damage to taking him down. Oh, we need to PP restore that move as well. Um, with our leper berries. Is it leper berries? We have ethers as well, so you can't buy those. I always learned that the hard way. Oh, and that is a huge hit. Absolutely wrecked. Special defense and defense has gone down though. Okay. Swamp at level 36. 63, sorry. Uh, Swamp at wants to learn Hammer on. Yes, please learn it. Uh, get rid of Rock Slide. Rock Slide doesn't even land half the time. <laughs> Seriously though, it's the worst. I hate that. Alright. Hammer on it is. Alright, awesome. Dragalge. Never seen that Pokemon before or heard of it. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's a Poison Dragon one. Okay, this one. Has a poison tip as well. Uh, so it's poison dragon. Poison dragon. Let's go for an ice beam. Uh, yeah, good choice. Because then we won't get hit by the poison point. Um, so I believe he has a poison point. Uh, Flygon, easy bait for this guy. Will be lowered by the flying thing. And he's definitely going to have a Mega Salamence. This is actually just a just a given that he's going to have a Mega Salamence. Um, oh, he's not a flying type. He's a ground flying. He's therefore not... He doesn't get the airlock advantage. Oh, the Delta Stream. That's actually really cool. Um, Haxorus. Yeah, bring it on. Uh, I don't know what this one is either. Oh, this guy. Yes, he's like the... Uh, the Diamond and Pearl, is it? No, the Black and White Dragon. Like the pseudo legendary sort of type of thing. Alright, and he's like a ground dragon, so that's gonna hurt. He's also down for the fight. Um, Rayquaza's just going in on this team right now, like I thought he would. Um, Latios wants to learn Dragon Pulse. Uh, let's get rid of. Yeah, let's get rid of Ice Beam. You're not the designated Ice Beamer anymore, anyway. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, learn to Dragon Pulse. And Metagross grew to level 63. 52. Respectively. Alright. Salamence. Flying Dragon type. Level 75. Going to be Mega Evolving. It looks like we're going to go for an Ice Beam here. I wonder who goes first. Because I do think he gets a drastic increase in speed once it's Mega Evolved. So this will be interesting. Who goes first? We do. Okay. Awesome. Now it won't be a one bang, but... Should be... Or it will be a one bang. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it will be a one bang. And he just got four and a half thousand XP. 75. Do you reckon I could one man with this bloody Rayquaza? Um, Hyper Voice. Uh, what does it do? 90, 100. These less is a horrible echoing shout. Nah, who cares? I'd rather keep... Um, nah. I'd rather keep extreme speed. Yep. Okay, that's it. Done and dusted. 
Leap Forward Drake. Spectacular. Well, guys, this is it. We now move on to the last champion, who is a new champion indeed. All right. Um, but first, we have to revive my dead peoples. Oh, there's no dead peoples. Well, that's a win. Uh, okay, first off, Max Ether on Dragon Ascent. That's the main concern. Everything else is fine. Full restore on Latios and our buddy over here on the Ho-Oh. Full team is ready. Here we go, guys. This is it. The official second attempt through the Elite Four. Now, I believe it is Wallace because he did take over in that little outro dramatic thing at the end of the Delta episodes. So let's see, shall we? Is it Wallace? Or is it Steven? It is Steven. Oh, I thought it would change over to be Wallace. Okay, I guess not. That's fine either way. Against you once again. Okay, I, I just for some reason thought it was Wallace, but who cares? Versus Steven, Pokemon League Champion. Let's go, boys. Okay, still got the stick pin rolling. Leads with Skarmory. I should have led with Greyon. I didn't know he'd lead with the same Pokemon. Alright. I know what he's going to Mega Evolve as well. It's going to be the bloody... Metagross. Okay. Hmm. Don't want to Mega Evolve because... He will... Be able to... Okay, this was a bad start. But we're going to switch straight out to Groudon. Oh, actually, maybe even... Ho-Oh wouldn't have been a bad shout then, because he's probably going to go for a Toxic, because he went for it last time, he'll probably go for it again. Um, so let's see, this will be interesting to see what way we should have gone. Alright, there's the Mega Evolution. And, what's he going for? Oh my god, so many things to go through at once. Alright, Toxic, knew it. Alright, might actually have been a good shot to grab Latios instead. Alright. The poison hurts a lot. It gets gradually worse, doesn't it? Alright. Um, Flamethrower, let's go. I don't want to lose Groudon. I wonder... He's got the Sturdy. Let's not forget Sturdy. Um, <laughs> burn, please? Nah, Spikes. Ah, oh, he's got the Toxic... He doesn't have Toxic Spikes laid out, though. But the Spikes are annoying. They're very obnoxious. I wish he didn't get those down. Okay. That's going to be very obnoxious. And he keeps getting the Sturdy every time, though. So he's going to automatically get one go. Oh, we have the speed, though, so we go first. I actually thought he'd go first, so considering he's a bird. Like, I thought he'd be faster. He's just delaying the poisons by keeping those up. We're going to swap to ho -Oh real quick, though. And uh, full restore our ground on before he dies. Okay. And he's out. What will he send out next? That, that poison's really starting to hurt. Okay, Agron. I did stay last time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to our bait, a.k.a. Ho-Oh. Um, and he's going to full restore Groudon on the way in. I really don't want to lose this fight. If I do, I'll be very mad. <laughs> okay, sent out Agron. Even though they're all like 20 levels higher, especially this guy. Holy crap. I wonder where his Metagross would be at, like 80? All right, full restore. We only have three of these bad boys. Okay. Use the full restore on him. Okay, Stone Edge. That's going to be a one bang. That's a one bang for sure. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that's a one bang for sure. Times four. Absolutely no idea. All right. Who has the highest speed, though? If we hit the P-Blades, easy win. There's the spikes. It's a bit obnoxious. Come on, buddy. Let's hit those P-Blades. Let's do it. Yes! I thought it was going to miss for a second. Hit the P-Blades. That should be a one bang. He's got the Sturdy though, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got the Team Sturdy. Alright. So he's automatically going to get an Earthquake off because of it. And that'll do how much damage? Okay. We're going to go for an Earthquake, even though I know he's going to go for a heal. Oh, he didn't even go for the heal. Wow. Okay. There we go. No heals for Agron. Thought he was going to do it then. Level for Groudon. We'll take it. Um, okay, let's see here. Clay Doll. This guy was very obnoxious last time. Uh, P-Blades probably won't one-bang him. I'm actually going to pull a switch here uh, into Swampert. Uh, now, if Swampert can land a Surf, 
so we can turf him. That could be enough. I'd love to get a Hydro Pump going on this guy. Surf should hopefully be enough. Alright, those spikes doing the damage that they should be doing. Let's go for the Surf. Reflect. That is... Defense. Damn it. Okay. That's a physical attack Surf, isn't it? Yep. That's obnoxious as hell. I wish you put a barrier with the opposite. No point using Ice Beam, I don't think. Bang. It's going to hurt, but not too much. Alright. Hopefully it doesn't bring him into full... It's going to bring him into full restore range. Oh, critical hit. No, it just killed him. Okay. We'll take it. <laughs> we will take that. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> okay. Um, Alrighty. Carbink. I don't know what Pokemon that is. So, we'll stay. Oh, this guy. He's like... Yes, he's Rock Fairy. Um, so, Rock Fairy... Uh... Earthquake? <laughs> um, earthquake? Wow, he's a tank. Oh, he does have that thing up, Moonblast. That's going to not hurt at all. I want his Reflect to go down. So we're probably going to keep Surf up, because I think Surf isn't actually physical. Oh, wow, that did so much more damage. Holy crap. Maybe Surf isn't a physical move. Either way, he's out for the count, and he's going to send out Aerodactyl. We're going to stay. He seems to have switched up his uh, fossil Pokemon here. Exerting pressure, that's fine. Uh, we'll go for a Surf. Yep. Ice Fang, that's going to do normal damage because we're half ground. Surf and Turf. And, ooh, Reflect has worn off. He's going to get the full restore, but... Let's see, is Surf physical or... Because if it one bangs him, then it is physical. I always thought it was physical. Nope, it is special. Okay. Let's just keep doing it in case he full restores again. No, nope. he'll kill us, but that's fine. We'll take that. I just need a couple Pokemon to bait out uh, Mega Metagross's first attack. Because it's going to kill whoever, whoever it lands, pretty much. Uh, now, Latios, I want you to get some XP here. He's weak. He's yours. You are a fast Pokemon. But not fast enough. Ice Fang should not kill you, but it might. Stop. Okay, good, it didn't. I swear if it froze in there, that would have been the biggest troll. Alright, there you go. You've got your first kill. <laughs> On an Aerodactyl. Nice. Okay. I don't intend him to switch up his Mega Evolution, but it would be a big surprise if he did. And there we go. Let's stay out with what we have. Oh, I wish I had Thunder Wave on this guy. Let's go for a... A Dragon Pulse, best we can do here. Alright. His last Pokemon, if we can't kill this, it's going to be very depressing. If he, if he goes with a Giga Impact, going to do the same strat. No, he didn't. Okay, smart. But I don't know if that'll kill me. Oh, it was enough. Okay, it was enough. Alright. So yeah, the, the plan is to just try and... Let's see who can win this. His Metagross or mine. I don't want to Mega Evolve mine, though, just in case. We might lose. Um, yeah, I'm not going to Mega Evolve because I want to save that for... Uh, our boy over there, but, um, let's go for an Earthquake. Oh, we avoided Giga Impact. Nice. Either way, he would have died if he landed that. A critical hit. Okay. He keeps avoiding the Giga Impact. Get the wreck, boys. Alright, he's gonna uh, max restore that. Oh, he landed one, but it's not gonna do much. It's only normal. And then the recoil? No. And now he's dead. Wow. Not even Mega Evolved. 15 levels lower and he's still won. Is it 15 levels lower? I think it was 15 levels lower. Uh, yeah, 15 levels lower and we won. Because <laughs> he just picked the same move over and over. Oh, there we go. Phew. Second time around again. We have emerged victorious. Okay. I'd li something I'd like to give you and thanks for all you've done. Ah, well, I've already got that. <laughs> oh, God. Now I have two. <laughs> now I have two. Now I have two Metagross tonight. Oh, God. All right. That's for the players who obviously don't get it through the, uh, the special promotion. Now, of course, I think by the time I'm... I think you got to January 1st to actually activate that. Um, so people who watch after January 1st will be like, yeah, that's a totally cool reward. I can see why that would be a good reward. 
But everyone before would be like, yo, this is jokes. We already got that. All right. And there we go. They are going into the Hall of Fame. And I wonder how long this will go for. The second time we have beaten the Elite Four, and like I said, this means that uh, Deoxys will have respawned on top of the Sky Pillar, giving us another attempt at catching that awesome legendary Pokemon. Groudon level 62. Oops. Metagross level 64. Ho oh, oh, level 52 didn't do much, really. And uh, there we go. Pokemon League Champion. When I think about it, none of my Pokemon really stuck around. It was really just Swampert. And then the last one I picked up was Latios after that. And that was like midway through the game. Saving, don't turn off the power, Lachlan. It saved the game. Okay, so it looks like we're going through the credits right now. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby series. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like rating below, taking down the Elite Four for the second time, and hopefully up this episode, be able to go and get Deoxys. And uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with that.